Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. So today I'm going to reveal a very simple and clinically proven way for you to lose weight and still eat the same foods that you're currently eating. This means no change in your diet, no exercise plan, no pills or powders or anything like that. And I'll start with an interesting story about a friend of mine who had gained 23 pounds of fat in about 10 months and how he lost it all in about three months with one simple change. Now, however, before I continue, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now while it's fresh on your mind because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this and similar health topics and I don't want you to miss out. All right, so let's continue on with the story. So I have a friend of mine who has done really well in real estate over the past two or three uh, years and a few months ago, he invited me over to a dinner at one of his newest homes in Malibu, Malibu, California, right on the beach. Now, I hadn't seen him for almost a year, and the home was amazing. However, when I saw him, I noticed immediately just how much weight he had gained. Anyway, you know, I asked him about it, and this was actually something he wanted to talk to me about. And I asked him, you know, what changes he had made, um, whether it was a diet or exercise changes or maybe medications or extra stress or something like that. And he said, listen, I swear to you, I've done nothing different. In fact, I'm eating almost my most of my meals at home these days so I can make sure I, you know, the foods I eat are healthy. So anyways, we sat down to eat and I quickly noticed how large his plates were. You know, he had big spoons and forks, you know, everything was just like super big, super size. And as he was serving the food, he just kept piling it on right on the plate, right? More and more and, you know, bigger and taller and wider. However, on this huge plate, you know, the food amount just looked fine. It was normal. It didn't seem like a lot of food and there was plenty of room on the plate. So I went ahead and served my usual portion size of the foods. But in all honesty, it looked odd on the plate, you know, because there was just way too much space, empty space. So I sat down, I started eating and then he quickly asked, you know, hey, you don't like the food? And I said, you know, yeah, of course, it all looks delicious. And then he and then he said, but you barely put any food on your plate. And I thought to myself for a second, hmm, you know, he's right. It does look like that, right? Even though it's my usual portion size. And then it hit me. It only looks like a little bit of food. And that's because these plates are giant. So that's when it dawned on me. The reason my friend had been gaining weight is because the bigger the plate size, the bigger the portion sizes and therefore more food on his plate. And I don't know about you, but growing up, most of us, you know, we're just told to just eat everything on our plates. And I told this to my friend and he said, you know what? Yeah, I eat everything on my plate, no matter how much food, you know, we grew up broke. We didn't have any money, so I don't like to waste food. So this is when I told him to just get smaller plates and I bet he'll lose the weight because he'll be eating less food. Now he replied back and said, but I have all of these new expensive big plates. Now you want me to get smaller ones? And that's when I said, yes, because even though you said you had made no changes, you did. These big new plates are making you fat. And I said, just do me a favor and use, you know, plates that are half the size of these for the next three months. Well, you know, about four months later, he sent me a text saying he had lost um, about 25 pounds and he didn't change anything at all other than using the smaller plates, you know, bowls and cups. Basically, smaller plates equals smaller portion sizes equals smaller calories. And by the way, this is scientifically proven by the Journal of Consumer Research. Basically, they examined 56 different research studies on the effects of smaller plates on consumption. And they tested everything, you know, breakfast and lunch, dinner, snacks, and so forth, and the types of plates and bowls and cups. Now, the end result showed that reducing the size of the plate, bowl or cup, by 30% reduced consumption by 30%. Now, less food equals less calories and faster weight loss. Now, something to take into consideration here is that genetics and psychology plays a big role in how much you weigh. And this is why when people are under extra stress, some eat more food, which is called like a stress eater, and gain weight. And some people simply lose their appetite when they're under stress, and then they lose weight. Now, my brother, 
You know, he's a stress eater. He eats more food under stress while I eat less when I'm stressed out. Again, genetics plays a big role here. Personally, I think this is fascinating. And because of this, I have a bonus video about how you can turn on your fat burning genes. Now, just click the link below in the description area and watch the short video right now and copy the proven formula and lose that, you know, unhealthy and ugly body fat, just like a skinny person. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments and questions below. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor. Make sure you visit the link in the description area below about the bonus video and discover a simple yet clinically proven formula for losing fat and keeping it off. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.